a pleasure finally to get yeah. to know you a little bit. Obviously, you are from here, from around here. You know how exciting it was you know to know that you were coming here and you're gonna be playing home games at your hometown in your hometown. Yeah, I mean, I told my agent just get me home. I want to go and play in front of my family and in front of my friends and play in beautiful weather. So um, I'm super grateful to be here, and um, I don't think. I'll ever take it for granted, that's for sure. Just to be in this moment, yeah. a great opportunity with being at home and being first place. Yeah, there's something special about playing for your hometown team and, you know, it makes it even more special when your hometown team is really good. So I'm a, I'm a fan of the Angels. I've been a fan of the Angels for my entire life. And so obviously I want to see them do well. And for me to be on the team and for the team to be doing well, it makes it extra special. As far as your pitches, uh, how satisfied are you with the velocity of them? Yeah, I'm really satisfied with how I feel and how I'm recovering, and especially this being my first year and in, in six years doing it. Um, we have a really good team, a really good training staff that helps me uh, with my recovery and make sure that my prep is good enough to get me ready for my next start. And um, yeah, we have really smart people in the front office and coaching staff helping us, helping me build certain. Uh, plans of attack for the offense and yeah I'm, I'm really happy with where I'm at and with where we are at as a team. The fans were stoked about Otani but then Noah Syndergaard came over and now the pitching is looking very good. How motivating is the is pitching staff? Yeah it's really good. I, th I think um, we got some guys with some confidence and some guys that go out there and just attack guys and um, I think when you can change that mentality of um, how can I say it? I guess it would be, you know, when you're pitching, you want to feel like you're hunting. You're not being hunted. So I think we, we got some young guys on the, on, the, on the pitching staff that are learning that and that are doing a really good job with that. Um, and you're seeing their numbers. Um, it's paying off for them. So, yeah, we have some, some good arms, and the pitching staff looks great. It seems like you and Noah know, know each other. Can you talk about that? Yeah, we're... Yeah, we're into really taking care of ourselves and, and maximizing the gifts that God's given us. So it's it's really like you, we can show up every day and and you know enjoy the big league life you know by you know just showing up and throwing a baseball around, or we can actually take advantage of the resources that we have and um, which we do. We we spend a ton of time um, doing things that. Um, help our bodies recover and, and help our bodies get prepared for our next starts to where we can do this for a long time and, and um, you know me and him have the same kind of mental process and and so we vibe really well together. How is like to chair the clubhouse also with Otani? How is he like? He's a goofball um, and, and that's the best way to explain it. He likes to have fun and he's never too serious. Um, and so, yeah, he keeps it light, and it's and it's a good time. Now, Mike Trout is still a big personality on and off the field. What kind of energy does he bring to the stadium every day? Yeah, he's he's the best player in the game, and we all look to him. Um, you know, as our he's our leader. So, and he, you know, he's a he's a leader that we all respect, and um, he's done a really good job at doing that. Um, you know. He's very good. He's very intentional with how with the conversations that he has, and you know, trying to pick guys up when they're down, and and just just leading this team where we need to be, and that's you know, playoffs and into the World Series, and he's doing a great job.